In a stunning display from a sitting president, Donald Trump launching an assault on the integrity of the election, unleashing a barrage of false claims of fraud and corruption without evidence. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. Breaking his two-day silence, the president fuming after watching his lead in states like Pennsylvania and Georgia evaporate as election workers count legal mail-in ballots that have been skewing heavily for Joe Biden. We were winning in all the key locations by a lot, actually. And then our numbers started miraculously getting whittled away in secret. The president falsely suggesting Republican observers are not present at vote counting centers. His argument fundamentally flawed, complaining that he's being cheated while in the same breath touting results he likes, including the success of Republican candidates on the very same ballots. We did a fantastic job with the Senate. Spreading a series of conspiracy theories, the president slammed post-election polls that forecast Biden as the favorite as a form of voter suppression and detailed his plans to take his case to court. We think there's going to be a lot of litigation because we have so much evidence, so much proof, and it's going to end up perhaps at the highest court in the land. The tirade triggering a backlash, even among some Republicans, challenging his baseless claims. For the president to go out there and claim that without any evidence of that is, uh, is, is dangerous. This kind of thing, all it does is inflame without informing. Still, Donald Trump Jr. is fiercely defending his father. The number one thing that Donald Trump can do in this election is fight each and every one of these battles to the death so that we get full transparency in the process. Overnight, former Vice President Al Gore weighing in, telling Savannah and Lester that this race is entirely unlike the 2000 election between himself and George W. Bush. This is a completely different election from the one 20 years ago. The most important principle that I defended 20 years ago that Joe Biden and many others are defending tonight is let's count every legally cast vote and obey the will of the American people. And inside Trump world, Donald Trump Jr. and other allies threatened to turn the president's base against Republicans who do not rush to the president's defense. And late last night on Fox News, Trump loyalists Lindsey Graham and Ted Cruz did just that, as well as Kevin McCarthy, the top Republican in the House. Take a listen. President Trump won this election, so everyone who's listening, do not be quiet. Do not, be, do not be silent about this. We cannot allow this to happen before our very eyes. We unite together. You don't need to be a Republican. All of them backing the president's unsubstantiated claims of widespread voter fraud and corruption.